What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the Street Reporter. And I got another topic I want to touch on that I think is pretty cool. Famous Dex ended his beef with all rappers from Chicago. I think that's dope, man. You know, the guy catch a lot of flack. I have even did videos about some of the shady shit that he have done, you know. But I have to give credit where credit is due, you know. And that's a cheese interview. Famous Dex said a lot of shit that I do think is wise, you know. He got an opportunity to work with a lot of artists and end his beats. You know, a lot of people was upset with him fucking around with like G Herbo and Lil Bibby. I think that's dope, you know, that these guys from Chicago can band together and make money and, and put that bullshit to the side. A lot of people was upset because remember a little while ago, Lil J and Lil Bibby had an issue. You know, it was rumors floating around the internet that Lil J chased Bibby. Bibby ran from Lil J a little while ago. So a lot of people like, damn, Dex, how you fucking with these niggas? And then a lot of people were upset because word broke through that Dex and Chief Keith got a real good relationship. And Dex and Keith be talking to each other in Cali and they might got music coming out. And a lot of people didn't like that because Chief Keith pretty much is the one who made the smoking Tuka shit famous. And that was a friend of famous Dex. I don't know how close they was, but Dex knew him. And um, they cool now. You know, Dex and Lil Durk is even cool. And Lil Durk made it known that him and JoJo had an issue. The first time I ever heard of Brick Squad and JoJo was in a diss record that Lil Durk released. You know what I'm saying? And famous Dex is cool with these people now. Famous Dex is cool with King Louie and all kind of shit like that. I think people got to understand. When God bless you and give you an opportunity to make bags of money that 90% of the world not going to make, you got to put all that negativity and that drama shit to the side, my nigga. You got to understand. Look, I keep telling people negativity is like a door. Once that shit into your life, it opens up and all that shit start rushing. And no positivity going to come out because it's just too full with negativity. And I believe Famous Dex kind of understand that. Now, the part with him not helping out Lil J, that's a whole different story, a different topic. But I think he do got it that, you know, it's time to build Chicago up instead of tearing the shit down. So I just want to give Famous Dex congratulations that, you know, he at least mentally smart enough to understand that he can open up the doors that other rappers can open up. So I just want to give you a big on that. I think that's a good move and, and, and good advice. It's the homie.